Okay, hi. So, I've been wanting to make this video for a long, long time. But uh, before we start with this video, I have two disclaimers for you. The first being this, that if you're someone who's clicked on this video uh, while doing market research on what camera to buy and you just saw the title having the word Canon M50 um, and you want some details about the camera, then this is not the video for you because I'm just a vlogger who bought her dream camera after a year of saving up and I'm not super equipped to tell you about the technicalities of it and like you know uh, the features of the camera so if that's what you're looking for this is not the video for you the second thing that i want to tell you guys before you start watching this video is this that i am not sure what the audio quality of this camera is going to be like um i mean the camera is great it's good it's an amazing camera but i haven't purchased the microphone that goes on top of the camera yet so um the audio that you're listening to is directly from the camera i'm trying to be as loud and as clear uh, as possible in my capacity but I don't know if the voice is a little muffled I'm super super sorry let's start with the video because I have a lot to tell you guys I've been gone for like three weeks which is bad but um, yeah I want to talk you have seen the title of this video um, you know I finally got my vlog camera that I've been talking about for like one year and uh, just to give you a little background uh, I've been making daily vlogs for like seriously for like um, I think a, a year and a half I think before that it was like not serious I was like super chill about it I was just like you know but like uh, a year and a half ago I was like you know this is what I want to do and that's when I was that's when I started shooting and I started shooting with my phone um, it's the iPhone SE it's got a good camera but it's not like you know a professional um, quality camera if that's what you'd like to say but if you're a beginner and you are just you know um, entering the vlogging world or entering the youtube world do not put that kind of pressure on yourself that you need to have good equipment and you need to have like you know all this fancy expensive stuff like you really don't try and make do with whatever you have whatever resources you have and as and when you proceed and you know um what's that term like as and when you uh, reach milestones and like achieve goals like keep upping the quality of your equipment i don't know what i'm saying is making sense or not but uh, you understood right like make do with whatever you have you are under no pressure under no pressure to get a camera like i remember a couple of months ago people used to tell me oh you know what you should get a canon g7x and i was like yes like i don't have that kind of money like i want a canon g7x right now and i'll just go and buy it the next day like because i already bought a lot of equipment and like a lot of expensive stuff over the past one uh year i actually got my iphone last year and no one in my family's had an iphone uh so this was like a big deal for me to buy an iphone and i also got a mac uh, this year like I got an Air not a Pro but uh, even that was like super super expensive like that was really expensive I knew somewhere that you know the kind of quality that I'm putting up on YouTube is not like satisfactory like I want to stop making videos from my iPhone and I want to get a new camera and all of that I knew it but I just did not have the balls to like ask my parents like oh yeah you got me this you got me this now you also get me a camera that's gonna cost 40 grand so I just did not I didn't have it in me to ask them. Also, if you are a regular subscriber, you know my sister's getting married next year in February. So it's not like my parents can't afford to buy me a camera, but then I was like, it's like I'm literally exploiting them. Like, I not exploiting. Like, you know, a lot of kids ask for things from their parents and their parents are in a position to give it. And uh, I mean, it's good. It's not bad. But like for me personally, like that was somewhat, what do you call it, crashing with my values and like my idea of myself you know like i've always wanted to be self-sufficient if that's making any sense like i've always wanted to um earn things you know earn yeah you know so a uh, fun story we are sidetracking but i want to tell you guys this when i was really small and um uh I, I used to live in lucknow okay so like our canteen had like food like really cheap okay like two rupees three rupees it's like i'm talking about 2004 2005 tab ki baat, tab hota tha. like three rupees ka used to get like one samosa and stuff like that so i would like mop the whole house or like jhadu the whole house and you know I, my mom was like oh cool i'll give you two rupees so yeah i, I don't know why i said that so but like I really liked I really liked working for things that I want okay like be it materialistic things or be it like you know respect or be it like anything or like a change that I want to see I want to be the one who's initiating that change and like I want to put in efforts to get results 
I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So continuing with what I was saying, I at the starting of this year, I knew I wanted a camera, a vlog camera to be specific, and I didn't have the balls to like ask my parents, like, okay, you know what, buy me a camera. So that's when I decided. I think in February or like January this year, I decided that I want to save up money and I want to buy my camera myself. Okay. And uh, that's when um, I was in, I was still in the second year. I'm in the third year right now, but at that time I was in the second year and uh, I had never really done internships which pay like, you know, a lot. Okay, I'd done one internship in my first year, which paid me like a thousand rupees per month for which I had to go from Hoskas to Noida every day. So like, just is that I never had worked with, you know, really established organizations, media organizations or anything else, like for that matter, any company who would paid me that much. So I was really, not sure where to go how to get the money I had no income okay first of all I still had two years and uh, not two years one and a half years left to complete my college so it's not like I could have taken up a job like a full-time job that would pay me uh, without any qualification like uh, so I was like really stranded but then somehow I don't know this summer like, um, May May of this year uh, there was just this uh, internship opportunity that came from my college placement cell and I have never applied to anything through the college placement cell and this was the first time. So we had to go to the office for like two whole months straight and uh, the stipend was like a lot. Like I had never dreamt that, you know, without a degree or anything, I would be making that kind of money. But it was uh, 15,000 a month. So that's about 15, 15, 30. So that's when it kind of struck me that, you know, this is... This is something that I could start with, okay? And, you know, I really wasn't expecting that I would get selected for this job because it seemed too high fi you know? Like, you know, like when you get intimidated by something and you're just like, Ismeto Hogani, but you still go for it. So this job, like, also I'm like speaking about it as if it was a big deal. It wasn't really a very big deal, but it did have a special place in my heart because, like, I never thought I would be paid that much, like, to be very, very frank with y'all. And, um... So uh, what happened is this that uh, I somehow was selected for that summer job and along with like five or six other people from LSR. So it was a fun time. I had a really great time in the summer. Um, I don't want to like go into that topic which is a different topic you know aisa hota hai ki agar aap paise kamana start kar dete ho na tab ko paise ka chaska chad jata hai so uh, after i got that uh, that money in my account okay and like that's literally the first transaction i ever had on my account uh, but uh, after i got that money i was like thoda sa confidence bhi aa gaya tha like i got a little bit of confidence because i was like wow like if a company is ready to pay me 15 grand to like write for them um i should at least be paid like 7 or 8 grand for like work from home and turn right if I'm not going to the office so then there's this website called internshala I really don't know why everyone around me says that this website's not very great because uh, a lot of people say that they don't find like what they're looking for but like weirdly enough I've always found what I'm looking for and like somehow like always you know um liked what uh, offers I've gotten through this website so internshala is one website that I really recommend y'all to y'all if you're looking for internships okay in your area but yeah when college start was and I was like you know I um I have 28 I just need to make like uh, 10 more 12 more thousand and I'm gonna buy the G7X Mark II because at that time I was like you know I will buy the G7X Mark II um, then um, so then I started doing all these small internships you know like proofreading writing for people content writing all of that stuff and then I started making money dheere 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 and uh, I also I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not because YouTube like has some um, it's got some restriction on like people youtubers telling uh, the audience about the pay but i think it's about the figure you get i, I don't know but uh, i think i'm allowed to say that i got my first youtube check this month not this month last month this is december no i got it in december only i mean i got my is payment issued last month but it came to my bank this month so i made uh, a bit of money and i used all of that money and i finally got my camera um with that i also want to talk about a few difficulties slash struggles that i had um in the whole process in one year is a long time dude i saved up for one whole year to get this camera so uh, i think two of the biggest difficulties slash uh, struggles that uh, things that i struggled with is first it has to do with impulsivity okay so there was this time uh, when college had started and i was doing like work from home jobs uh, when i was in between jobs okay so i had quit from one place and uh, for like a week or two weeks i was like 
um you know um i i i didn't have a job like i wasn't in turning anywhere and at that point i had like 41000 or 42000 in my account okay so enough for the g7x but not for the m50 and by that time my decision ban chuka tha ki i'm going to get the m50 because you know you can change your lens you can add an external camera it's a dslr and not a point and shoot so uh, i mean everything about this is way 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 better which is why it's 20 grand more than the g7x but going back to the point um at that time like, Like, मेरा मन बन चुका था मेरे पास पैसे नहीं थे आई वॉज स्टिल फिफ्टीन ग्रैंड शॉर्ट टू गेट दिस कैमरा सो वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम आई स्ट्रगल विद वॉज इम्पल्सिविटी यू नो दर वर टाइम्स वेन आई वॉज लाइक आई एम नॉट गन गेट अ जॉब नो वन इज गन एम्प्लॉय मी आई एम नॉट गन बी एबल टू मेक दर ट्वेल्व ग्रैंड एक्स्ट्रा सो लेट मी जस्ट गो एंड बाय द G7X सेवन एक्स मार्क टू इवन दो माई हार्ट वॉज नॉट इन इट यू नो आई वॉज लाइक इट्स लाइक आई वॉज एक्सेप्टिंग माई डिफीट एंड यू नो आई एम सिंग इट इन अ ड्रामेटिक वे but you might think that uh, it can't be that dramatic but it actually was you know in my head i was like all the things that i would think about you know every day while saving up and i was just like i'm not going to be able to make that 12 grand extra and i'm not going to be able to afford that camera and i was like i don't know if you call that ego or what or i don't know but i was like against taking my because my parents were super proud of me for saving that because saving that much of money because i have always been like a big time spender you know like i I spend a lot. I spend a lot. So my parents were like super happy with the fact that I could save like forty grand at this age, and uh, they offered that okay, you know what, you save this much, twelve, fifteen, we can give. Okay, but I was like, no. What's the point of it then? I could have just asked you to pay for it from the very beginning. So I was super against that as well, and I was super frustrated with the fact that I didn't have a job for that two weeks, and uh, I was like, I didn't know where. to get that 15 grand extra from so that was a very frustrating time and you know there were times when i was like mummy let's just go and get the g7x okay and at that time my mom my sister my dad my atrisha uh, okay all of them like just they just i don't know how they calmed me down but i'm so glad they did because i did not go and buy that and i'm so grateful for that because only 2 weeks after that whole unemployed unemployed me nahi bol sakte because the jobs that i was doing weren't even jobs they were like internships but that time when i didn't have any income so was um uh that passed real quick and like as soon as the two weeks ended like the two weeks of unemployment ended i got a job which was really good okay and not just like you know i did a lot of jobs to get money where i wasn't feeling good like i wasn't feeling uh like you know i'm making a difference or like i like my work it's like i was just working and slogging off just for the money okay but the job that i got after that two weeks of frustration and unemployment it was so wholesome and good so i i think i've even talked about it but like super briefly because if i talked about it too much like that would be breach of contract but i think i can talk about it right now in generic terms uh that job was really fulfilling for me man because i learned like proofreading and i learned editing and that was the first time i got a job that was like you know um a little upar in the hierarchy like i uh, you know i i used to edit for this company okay so i would give provide feedback to their writers so it felt great um you know giving constructive feedback you know just interacting with the team was great so yeah that and also this company used to give me bonus um so i used to do 4000 words a day for them and if it passed even 100 words more than the 4000 i would get a lot of bonus every day and my bosses was so good like i really anish if you're watching this you're amazing you're you're the best boss i think i already talked about the second struggle that i had which was discouragement you know that whole period when i didn't have uh, an income source or something that was really really discouraging and i was like you know what screw this screw vlogging i'm just going to delete my channel i'm not going to be able to afford the camera that means i'm not going to be able to make vlogs and i'm just like not going to be anything and uh, that's i think that's exactly what i wanted to talk to you all about like do not ever get under the pressure that you have to match other people's standards in order to do your job okay like never whatever you do like you know like horse ka hota hai na aise karke i don't know what exactly wo use hota hai kis cheez ke liye but they have these flaps in which like the horse focuses on its own path and i think that's a good strategy and you should do that too because a lot of times i mean i personally have been affected with the fact that you know uh, with you know trying to compete with other people like you don't know what background other people are from like their parents might be super rich or like you know their parents might be having that equipment that they let their kids borrow not just kids like i mean why am i talking about kids like all youtubers like general youtubers ki baat ho rahi hai so like don't ever think that oh you know kc nice shot is making vlogs in 4k i need to make vlogs in 4k doesn't make sense okay so like don't be under that stress so um yeah that's that's the 
story of um, the whole I don't know why I wanted to share this I just feel like it could be um, a positive video and like a inspiring video for y'all if you because I know a lot of my audience is inspiring is aspiring to you know be somewhere in in the YouTube spectrum so and I wish you all luck okay you all are gonna do well just like be on the track and that's exactly what I'm trying to do because right now like I'm not even qualified to give you advice because my channel is still super 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 small but uh, yeah I mean I guess we can just exchange some uh, tips and um, you know what do you call it uh, advice. I've not been able to upload for uh, three weeks because I had my semester exams going on and not just that I've also been having like a little what do you call like a little downtime. I don't know why like I, I think it's because of the weather like I do not like winter at all. It makes me so sad. I think the lack of sun like really affects me really badly and like especially the past one week it's been so bad like it's there's been no sun. I haven't seen any no sunshine like there's been no sunshine and that just like makes me really really sad i don't know why but that's just been there and uh, i don't know what am i gonna do because like full-fledged winter has not even started yet but i just hope i survive this and um what else i, I also wanted to tell you guys something else yeah i i don't know if you know this okay first of all you will not know half the things that I'm saying if you don't follow me on Instagram because you know when I'm not uploading which I do very regularly because I'm super inconsistent but when I'm not uploading I try and like keep you guys updated on my Instagram at the Richalu Mishra so um, you should follow me there um, and uh, you know I'll keep updating you guys when I'm not uplo uplo uh, uploading here and uh, the thing that I was trying to say is that I tried to like write a blog okay I've been I've been wanting to write recently I don't know why I mean you know this some this winter sorry uh this winter when like i started feeling a little gloomy and uh, i uh, gloomy and sad is what i'm trying to say i felt like i should probably write you know like expressing would make me feel better so i was like you know what let me blog and you know let me write and let me share it with you guys you know maybe you all have some feedback that you know might help me or you know something i have written might help you if you're in a similar situation and i even sat down to write but it's so hard like i have written my first draft but I just, I don't know. Tonight I'm going to try and write my blog. And um, yeah, let's hope that I'm able to write something. If I, if and when I do publish my first blog, you guys are going to get updated on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram for that update. And um, yeah, I'm super, super happy uh, that, you know, you because you guys also have made this possible. Because, you know, every time I was like super impulsive, you know, to like just blow all that money in like clothes or makeup all that you know stuff that i don't even need um you know comments from you all and like feedback from you all and dms from you all really helped me like you know calm myself and ground myself and like you know remind me that there's a reason to why i'm doing what i'm doing and you know to like not waver from it if that's the correct usage of that word but uh, yeah i'm really really thankful because uh, youtube money has also actually gone into this camera as i said before and youtube money came from where it came from y'all so um thank you so much and if you have any questions regarding anything okay put it here or put it on my Instagram um, in on the DMs and yeah I have a lot of cool stuff planned out for my channel and I'm super super excited to film those things and put them up and uh, yeah that's it I don't know what the point of this video was but I hope you liked it if you did leave a like subscribe to my channel share the link with your family and friends and I will see you tomorrow bye dude I can finally do that stuff like the okay now nah, now nah, bye